So we are going to use this definition of the derivative to find the derivative of h, the derivative of h when x is 3. And so notice that we have an a in here. That's our value that we're using. So let's, uh, let's do this. So the derivative of this function at 3 is the limit as h goes to 0 of, let's see, I'm taking this a plus h, which will be 3 plus h. 3 is where I'm at. h is my wiggle. And I'm plugging that into the function. So this would be 3 plus h cubed plus 3 times 3 plus h minus 4. That's just this part, f of a plus h. That'll be minus just the function itself without the wiggle when 3 is plugged into it. So 3 cubed plus 3 times 3. Whoops, I did that in my head. Uh, 3 times 3 minus 4. And that whole thing is over h. Notice where the parts are coming from. This first part is f of a plus h minus, this is f of a, and this is h, my wiggle. I'm going to let, let that wiggle go to 0. So I get a little bit of algebra to do here. So if I'm going to cube 3 plus h, you can multiply it out by hand if you want, you, or you know that cubic relationship. 3 cubed is 27. Uh, same sign. 3 times the first one squared times the second one. So it's going to be 3 times 3 squared times h. So 27h plus uh, 3 times the first one times the second one squared times 3 times h squared. So 9h squared plus the last one cubed. That's just the expansion of this 3 plus h cubed. I'm going to distribute that 3 into there. So plus, plus 9 plus 3h. Still got this minus 4. I'm going to distribute that negative into there. 3 cubed is 27. So minus 27 minus 9 plus 4 all over h. And what is glorious is 27 minus 27 is 0. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 9 minus 9 is 0. I'm just left with h terms. Still operating under that limit as h goes to 0. Let's see, 27h plus 3h is what? 38 plus 9h squared plus h cubed. And that's still over h. These are all, all of these pieces up in the numerator divided by h. So I'm going to divide that h out of there. So 30h divided by h is 30. 9h squared divided by h is 9h. h cubed divided by h is h squared. So as h goes to 0, this term goes to 0, this term goes to 0. So it just leaves me 30. So it looks like my answer is 30. So I would say... Uh, going back to my original problem here, h prime of 3, the derivative of h when x is 3, is 30.